Welcome to lesson four. Um, we're going to be messing with and printing strings. Uh, so here's a pretty simple program uh, which just prints hello and then prints goodbye. So let's run that program and see what happens. Let's get the window in here. There we go. It just prints hello and then on the next line it prints goodbye. So one line it prints hello, the next line it prints goodbye. Well, if we make a slight change to our program and put a little semicolon at the end there. Uh, when we run the program now, look at the subtle difference. See what it's done? It's put hello and then immediately afterwards it's put goodbye. It hasn't thrown a new line character, it hasn't put these two things on two separate lines. That can be quite useful when you're trying to uh, make your output look nice and, and to put different columns of data um, in on the same output line. The only problem with it was that they were right up against each other. There was no gap in there. So we've got a couple of options here. If I change that semicolon to a comma, um, instead of just leaving a simple, uh, instead of just carrying straight on with it, let's have a look and see what it does. It's tabbed to the next location. So it's kind of tabbed 10 characters along um, uh, our screen output there. Well, that's sometimes useful, but sometimes we want a little bit more control over that. So I'm going to delete it, put it back to one of these characters, and I'm just going to insert a, a space before my final double quotes so that I've got a space at the end of my text here. And now when I run the program, I've got hello, full stop, space, goodbye, full stop. And then the next thing that would be printed out would be on the next line um, because there was no semicolon at the end of this line here. So you can see I've just added a couple of extra lines to my program here now. Um, so we're just printing a string. So I've created a string variable. That's a, something that's going to have words in it. And I've initialized it to be completely null. That's double quote followed by double quote. So it's got absolutely nothing in it. So when I run this program, we're still getting the hello and goodbye from before. But what it's printing out is absolutely nothing on that next line. Um, very difficult for me to validate here. But what I can do is just change the program again. So now I've taken the variable Fred and I've added to it the text O-N-E, well, the, the number one effectively in text. So we've got a, a, a null character, so no um, text in our Fred variable. And then we've added to the end of that text the word one. And now when I print out Fred, let's have a look what happens. Hello, goodbye. We've got that blank line that we had before. That was coming from this print here. And then we've got the word one, which is this print here. Well, now I've had another couple of lines. So I've taken the Fred variable and I've added the word two to the Fred variable. So I'll have one immediately followed by two. Let's have a look at that and see what happens when we print that next line out. Um, so here we go. I've got my hello, goodbye. I've got the blank line. I've got the one and now I've got one, two. Now notice that because I had one, and then I added two. It hasn't inserted any spaces or blank characters for me. That's something I need to do myself. So when I add another line here, let's say Fred equals Fred plus three, I've put a space at the beginning of the bit that I'm adding. So I should have now have one immediately followed by two and then a space and then three. So let's see what happens. Here we go. So one, two, and then this is one, two, space, three. So we can use this. This technique is called string concatenation. It's just simply adding some text to the end of uh, some existing text. Um, OK. Well, and as we all know, every proper sentence needs to have a full stop at the end. So you can take your existing sentence of uh, one, two, three, and then you can put a full stop at the end. So let's just run that finally to see what it looks like. Here it is, one, two, three. So just to summarize what we've learned there, we've got string variables. We can add bits of text to our string variable. We must remember to put blank spaces in to account for those things. And it's always a good idea to finish off a sentence with a full stop. We also learned right at the very beginning that if we put a print statement with a semicolon at the end, it won't throw a new line. So anything else that prints will carry straight on afterwards. If we put a comma, it will tab to the next space. If we don't put anything, it will tab straight to the next line.